Today I finally got the chance to pull bubbles into the shop. This is our newly acquired 1983 300D turbo diesel sedan. And we're really happy with this car. The more we're around it, the more we look at it, the more pleased I am that Donna chose us to own this car. Now, if you haven't seen the video of our acquisition of bubbles here, I'll put a link in the show more of the description below this video. If you've watched that video, you'll recall we were exclaiming how great the engine was. Lack of smoke, lack of blow by, really, really good power. So I decided, you know, today to have a quiz. Let's have a Mercedes diesel quiz for you diesel experts out there. Even though the car is registering 196,000 miles, the engine doesn't appear to have that kind of wear. The other thing that's really interesting is there's no steering box play. I mean, it's the first time. First time, <laughs> even, even White Lightning, my 240D with 129,000 miles on it has steering box play, but this steering is so tight, it's just a dream to drive this car. Now, so I'm gonna take you up to the engine compartment. I'm gonna open the hood, I'm gonna let you all look around at the engine. And I want you to guess, uh, give it your best shot as to why you think this is such a good engine in this car with almost 200 thousand miles on. Now before I take you up to the engine compartment, there's a couple of things I, I want to show you. They're just little things that uh, really put a smile on my face. Let me take you back inside the car. If you recall, Kai mentioned something about this plastic around the inside of the doors not being all wrinkled. That's very unusual. Also, all this felting uh, door seals are in good condition. But this right here, I haven't seen this in the last 15 years. The bungee on the map pocket on the back seat is still in good condition. <laughs> Once again, even White Lightning didn't have a bungee in that great a condition. But you can see this is a nice interior and it's going to take some detailing, but boy, when I'm done with this car, it's going to be a real beaut. What I find interesting on Bubbles here is it's got a problem. It was the exact same problem that I had on that 240D when I first acquired it. Watch what happens when I open the hood here. Watch this. Okay, I'm going to lift it up about six inches and let go. <laughs> lift it up again, let go. You see the problem here? We've got hood hinges that are starting to seize. And if these are not tended to right away, those hinges can get busted out. And then you have a huge big wrench dance. Now, I'm sure some of you can guess because I've done numerous videos on this on why these hood hinges are binding up like this. And sure enough, it's the water drains are plugged. Once again, a W123 with plugged water drains is creating some real major problem with bubbles if it doesn't get fixed right away. So this is gonna be the first thing I'm gonna do on this car. I'm gonna clean out those drains and lube the hinges, <laughs> just like I did on White Lightning. All right, let's take a closer look at the engine. It's obvious this engine needs a really good detailing. But what I want to show you here is another indication that this is a very healthy turbo diesel engine. I had someone say, Kent, why didn't you do this when you did the initial inspection? Well, I did do it, but I forgot and didn't get it on film, but I'm going to show it to you now. And that's when you go to look at one of these engines, always take the lid off the air filter housing and inspect the air filter. This can tell you a lot about the engine. So let's take a look at Bubbles air filter. I have no idea the last time it was changed. Now, if you reach in and pull out an air filter and it's all plugged up with engine oil, that's a sign that the engine has excessive blow-by. You'll usually see it right in this area, also along this area where the breather is. But look at this air filter. Now, it's obviously been in there for a while. This is not a new air filter. You can see the dirt in there. But look at how clean it is. There's no oil staining. There's some vibration damage. But look, it's a dirty filter, but there's absolutely no oil embedded in the filter element. Now, this is a really good sign. Okay, now I'm gonna give you just a minute or so to look around this engine compartment. Look all around here, all around in here. Is there any indication at all 
as to why this might be a super healthy engine, the evidence is something you'll see in this scene right here. So go ahead, look very closely. You're welcome to give your best shot as to why you think this engine is in such great condition. You know, by the way, it didn't burn any oil coming up either. And what I'm going to do is for the next week, I'm not going to post any of the comments. I'll leave them all, you know, unapproved so you won't get to see them. So nobody gets to see what somebody else is guessing. And then at the end of one week, I'll post all the comments and be sure and watch the first episode on bubbles when we went out and acquired the car.